Late last year, Tesla released the new solar roof panels, which are seamlessly integrated with the roof shingles. After looking at the cells and the design Tesla used, I decided to build my own to see how they worked. Let's get into it. Starting out, I chose to go with the glass tiles variety, as this was the simplest to replicate. The other Tesla designs are possible to recreate as well, but I don't have the tools I would need to mold the tempered glass into the shape of the shingles. Now from what we know, the Tesla solar roofs consist of three layers, the solar cell, the glass cover, and the Louvre coat. Now let's start with the solar cells. The solar cells Tesla uses are standard 6x6 wafers that are very cheap and easy to get. Usually, much larger solar cells are made up of these small wafers due to their high efficiency. Now I chose four wafers which I then soldered together. Each wafer makes 0.5 volts with 8 amps of current. By putting these cells in series and using a voltage step up converter, I was able to get 3.7 volts, which works for most small electronics. Next up is the glass cover. Now, the fracture test that Tesla used shows that the top layer consists of a 3 16th tempered glass with roughly one inch spacing on each side of the solar cells. This makes sense since most standard roof shingles are between seven to eight and a half inches wide. And the glass itself is relatively cheap. We can see here on Alibaba that the average price for a cubic meter of glass is between six to eight bucks. In bulk, we can expect this price to go down even further. And better yet, the frosted rain glass pattern, which is one of Tesla's designs, is also available. Now I chose to attach the wafers with a thin amount of foam coating to the underside of the tempered glass. Even though the tempered glass can withstand a large force, these wafers are about as fragile as Lay's chips. Now you're probably wondering how the Tesla shingles maintain the transparency of glass while appearing to be solid. The different roof tiles that were created using hydrographic coating. The shingles were dipped into various paints to make the solar roofs look real. While this is a cool process, it does reduce the power output of the cells by 2%. One of the most unique features of these solar panels is their ability to be invisible to the eye on the ground while being visible from the air. This is where the Louvre coating comes into play. Elon mentions that the tempered glass is covered with a micro Louvre film. Now these micro Louvres act like microscopic lines, only allowing the sunlight to pass through when it's directly facing the panel. Luckily, we don't need to buy any Tesla panels to take advantage of this technology. Privacy screens for computer monitors have nearly the exact same function. The micro Louvres in the film allow the computer monitor to be viewable at a narrow field of view. Now, in hindsight, I should have chosen a lighter color privacy screen, but the grayish cover will be fine since we're only concerned about the UV lighting. Roof heating is another feature we can expect for roof tiles in snowy climates. For this, I simply added some heat pads. I wasn't too worried about where I put the pads since glass has a high thermal conductivity, the heat will spread over the glass and uniformly melt the snowpack. This gasket I designed allows the panel to be sealed from the elements by another tempered glass panel. Now it is not clear what Tesla uses for sealing their cells since we only seen a bird's eye view of the houses. If we pick up the panel and rotate it front to back at an angle, we still get the same effect of the micro Lavera coating. However, if we rotate it from side to side, we don't get that effect. And this is one of the key principles of micro Louvers. You can design them however you like, and this is one of the things that Tesla has used in their solar panels. A cell like this outputs 2.35 watts. Now at 98% efficiency, this brings us down to 2.3 watts. In order to power an average size house, we would need roughly 2,000 roof tiles to do the job. This works out good for us, since most average size houses have more than 2,000 roof tiles which face east to west in the sun's direction. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.